What was very interesting with Project V is that we really start from zero. For a car designer, it's amazing because you can really think of the whole concept without constraint at the beginning. The main idea was to say, okay, what uh, KTM stands for? Simplicity, lightness, and fun to drive. So we need to create a light car, which means a small car. But at the same time, because it's a sport coupe, it has to be seducing and uh, have this kind of elegance. So I needed to find the perfect uh, balance between size and weight ratio. Also, we have another parameter, which is it's an electric car. And as you know, like the electric cars, they need a lot of uh, battery volume. And what matters is that the proportions are here for, for a sports car. But we managed to basically create a platform where you would get the battery and uh, rack, etc., just around the uh, driver's seat, but not under the, dri the driver's seat, which means I can create a very low car and we can get this very uh, exciting stance that only like proper supercar gets. You know? To be able to design such a car is to understand the core attributes. I would say it's a process that sometimes we use in design, we call it a process of elimination. And for instance, you, know, you, you take a product and you try to simplify it to, to use the bare minimum parts. I think Caterham is one of the few brands to really apply that. And that's why it's timeless and totally different from the rest of the market. And the idea for Project V was really to try to understand so this approach to apply it, but in a different category of cars. So the seven is this extra lightweight roadster and Project V is actually uh, a sports coupe. So the question was, how do we apply this core principle to the sports coupe uh, architecture? The simplicity and the lightweight you know, should be reflected in the shape of the car. When you look at Project V, you will see a lot of areas are actually symmetrical. If you take the side view of the car, you will see that you draw a line right in the middle and you will see that the front arch and the rear arch are very symmetrical. Talking about the style Project V, the styling basically comes from the philosophy. Because we want to bring simplicity to the design, we had to create like very simple surfaces and uh, applying a lot of symmetry inside the shape. What I was trying to, uh, to do is actually to split the car in three main layers. So if you look at the bottom area of the car, which is all the aerodynamic uh, bits, basically it shows you know, that this car is supposed to go through, the, through air and to be efficient. Then you enter, you can see the middle layer. And the middle layer, I would say, it's very sharp, it's carved. All the surfaces are very strong and precise. And it's to show like the technicalities of the car as well, that it's actually a modern product, it's technological, and it's really anchored in the 21st century. And finally, the top of the car, the, all this very soft and sensuous, uh, glamorous shape, they are here to seduce you. That's what the difference between the 7 and uh, Project V, which is a sport coupe. I'm quite proud of the design, to be honest, because at the beginning, it's such a huge challenge to, when you know you have to design the next Caterham, knowing the history of Caterham, that it's almost the first car that they, they want to produce. Like to be able to design the next Caterham for any, let's say, car lover like me, it's, it's somehow a dream come true as well. 